Hello again, old 2 v here. This is Carnell Jr. I just recently strolled by the Manhattan book off looking for some hobby stuff recently. See a bunch of PS5s and Dreamcasts and all that crap. Yeah. Browsing to the toys, you know. Some nice, some useless fucking pops. <laughs> See a bunch of Marvel stuff, you know. Yeah. All these toys, man. Toys everywhere. Manga books. See a bunch of PS4 games. See if there's anything cool there. Yeah. See a bunch of Wii stuff. PS1. See Final Fantasy VII from me. See Contra. Nintendo DS games, PS Triple. Ooh, this is the Famicom stuff. Ooh, yeah. Let's see what kind of stuff they have in there. Super Mario for the retail price of 20 bucks loose. Ooh, it's like Romance of the Three Kings right there. Let's see, this is like Famicom Jump. Hmm. Twimby for 30 bucks. That's a massive fucking ripoff. What are these people thinking? Oh my god. Look. Let's see what else I got. Oh, that's Yokai Club for 20. Pretty sure I can get that for much less online. This is a Taurus Trap store. Oh my god. Damn, man. <laughs> Commons for like fucking 20 and 30 bucks a pop. Like in Japan, you can buy, get, probably get those for like 400 yen or some shit. Look at this, man. Common loss RPGs. And free. What? Gradius 3 for freaking 40 bucks loose Super Famicom. That is nuts. <laughs> that is so fucking nuts. Mappy for 20 bucks. I'm pretty sure I can get that for like 5 bucks. This is absolutely insane. Wow. Welcome to New York. <laughs> Mario Bros. for 30 bucks loose. That is, I don't know. How do these people stay in business? Are these hipsters buying these games for like stupid prices? Come on now. <laughs> this is absolutely freaking wild, man. Ugh. Man. Like, this store thinks, literally thinks that anything they get from Japan is fucking gold. I'm serious. Literally. Like, the most common shit you can think of, they'll think they can get away from putting a $50 price tag on it. Like, <laughs> this is absolutely fucking wild, man. Final Fantasy 2 for 40 bucks loose. That is criminal. It's not even in English. <laughs> wow, man. Um, fucking believable. Side pocket. 20 bucks for a CIB copy. But, you know, it's a sports game, so... Yeah, people don't like sports games, so they put mark them down for cheap. So... Whoa. Rockman for 40 bucks loose. That's criminal. Battle City for 50. I don't know why that's even 50. Bunch of Game Boy games. I see Castlevania 2 for, like, 60 bucks. The Game Boy game. See more Famicom stuff. See Rockman 2 in the middle. Karna for 30. That's freaking insane. <laughs> yeah, I even I would not buy Karna Loose for 30. Even though my channel's name is Karna Jr. I love that game, but I'm not gonna pay 30 bucks for freaking Karna. Alright. That is wow, that store is a fucking tourist trap. And yeah, we're on the anime section. See what they got here. <laughs> Toshi then. $89.99. That's fucking crazy. Toshinden for 89 bucks. That's fucking wild, man. <laughs> wow. The price differences between the DVD and Blu-ray versions of Street Fighter 2 movies is fucking hilarious, too. 60 for the DVD and 35 for the Blu-ray. That is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Switch games. They got plenty of freaking Switch stuff. 
I'm surprised what they had here. Ooh, Espelita 2. That's a limited run game. That's a freaking schmuck. You don't see that often. Ooh, wow. Nice selection, actually. I'm pretty damn impressed with what they got here. Oh, wow. Radiant Silver Gun. Oh, that is a freaking great one. Hope somebody snatches that. They'll be stupid to pass that up. Oh, wow. Look at all the collector boxes. Nice. If I had... If I had a fucking shitload of money, I'll be spending my money on that. Because I need more Switch stuff. Oh, Sukuna. SMT Vengeance. That game's awesome. Switch is... Yeah, the Switch select is freaking awesome. So, here's the stuff I got from Book Off. Here you go. Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040. This been missing on my anime collection for quite a bit. Now I have the entire Bubblegum Crisis series. Hooray for me. Yay. Alright. Here what else. Ooh, Golden Boy. Yeah, this one's been out of print for quite a while. It's been selling for stupid prices. Thankfully, I only paid like 30 bucks for this. Not bad. Alright. Ooh, Cosmic Fantasy Collection. This is a very nice one. Can't wait to play this. This is ports of two TurboGrafx 16 RPGs. The first game never came out in America, and it's in English. Inglés. Yay. Cosmic Fantasy Collection. Old school RPGs. I love them. All right. This one, my girlfriend got me. I'm very happy she did, because the Trails games on PS4 are becoming super expensive. So I want to catch up on this series. It's Legend of Noyuna, Boundless Trails. Nihon Falcom RPGs. I definitely love those. I'm a big East and Legend of Heroes fan. So I'm definitely looking forward to play this sometime. All right. And last but not least, Fist of the North Star, Volume 6, Hardcover Manga. Yeah. I need to catch up on this because I only have one through six of the Fist of the North Star series. And yeah, really love this. I really love this manga because Ken Shiro is a fucking badass. So yeah, Fist of the North Star, volume six. Okay, that concludes my Book of Hunt video. More retro content to come and Neo Retro as well. Be sure to like and subscribe. See ya.